Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first, I think, that you'll be seeing of the first tastes. Um, I've been doing these videos for a long time for my patrons, and I thought I would bring this more to the broader audience. So I'm not going to do kind of a normal video today, but I did also want to put something out for you guys. So I figured I would do one of these. Now, I do want to do first tastes most weeks. I won't do them every week because I don't always have brand new bottles that I have never tried before. But I figured I would start off with the 1920 Old Forester. Um, now, just to give you an idea, my general approach to this is very casual. This isn't my usual education, um, super, you know, as in-depth nosing and tasting. This is totally going to be my first impression of a whiskey that I have actually had this before, but not for a lot of years. Um, it was at like a tasting as well. So among several, several other uh, samples. So. In this case, I'm going to open up the bottle. I'm going to pour it out. You guys know how this goes, and we'll see what we think. So I will say just on a completely un, uh, unimportant note, I this is silly, but I love this color blue. <laughs> Clearly. Um, so it's funny. When I saw this on the shelf, I was like, ah, oh, you know what? That would look really good on my shelves. Um, but anyway, all right. So this is from Old Forester, which most of you may or may not remember from the video I did a while back. Old Forester is, I think it's the only distillery that was working before, during, and after Prohibition. Uh, when the Volstead Act was passed, uh, they were allowed to continue making whiskey for medicinal purpose, purposes. So they've been making it for a very, very long time. And, you know, obviously with Prohibition style, uh, let's see, during Prohibition, Old Forester was bottled as medicinal whiskey. Uh, okay, I just said that. And um, the typical barrel proof at that time was 115. That's exactly what I was looking for. I was assuming that 115 was probably the typical barrel strength at that point. And that's exactly what it is. So I can already tell you just by, you know, kind of getting the aroma here that this is going to smell at least a little bit like apples and probably caramel. But let's go ahead uh, and give this a nose. So... <sighs> Smells like a bourbon. <laughs> now, I actually kind of, I'll, I'll go into that in a minute, but I kind of freestyled this a little bit tonight. Um, I went out to the store, I bought a few bottles, and I was specifically going out to buy a couple of scotches, and I saw this one on the shelf, and I really thought I kind of wanted to get it anyway, um, and I've put off buying it for a while, and tonight apparently was the night. I bought another bottle, which I'll do another first taste of, and probably put that out next week, of the um, the Woodford Reserve Kentucky Straight Whiskey, uh, Wheat Whiskey, sorry. Anyway, so going back to the nose of this. So as I mentioned, very classic bourbon notes, but the thing that's cool about this is it's not, it's not very heavy on the alcohol. You know, at 115, there is virtually no burn here. It does smell a lot of apple and caramel and a little of cherry. Um, maybe, hmm. Yeah, heavily of cherry actually. Um, pretty, pretty typical bourbon notes, but the cherry is something I always am happy to, to get out of a barrel. So let's go ahead and have a taste. Cheers. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh boy, that's really good. Oh my goodness, that's good. Whew, right off the bat too. You know, most of these whiskeys get better. Uh, after you open them and, you know, pour a few. This one, I, if this keeps getting better, then I'm really excited. This is like, you ever you ever taste a whiskey and you just immediately start salivating? Because <laughs> your, your mouth is just like, I want more of that, right? That's exactly what's going on here. This is really good. This is really good. That cherry is heavy here. Uh, vanilla notes, very heavy on the apple as well. The finish is mostly alcohol. Um, but not unpleasant whatsoever. Actually, the the alcohol taste, um, yeah, the alcohol taste carries the cherry pretty well, and that's what I'm left tasting is mostly cherry. At least during this first taste, I might dig into this a little bit more, add some water. You know, I typically my usual standard thing: sit on the couch, kind of stare at the wall. It's funny; it sounds so boring, but it's exactly what I do. You, part of the the goal is remove all external stimulus, right? Focus on what you're doing. Don't talk at a camera while you have your first taste. <laughs> but in this case, I'm totally happy to do this. So um, a couple of quick things. So uh, like I said, no real video this week, uh, no formal review. I have a, a cool video, I think, coming out next week. And so that's a big reason that I'm not doing it this week is I wanted to make sure I nailed it. Um, 
I had it written and the filming and the editing was going to take longer than I expected. And it just wasn't going to be the quality that I wanted to put out. Thus, it's not out this week. It is also the summer. So, I mean, doing things like it's it's tough to stay motivated during the summer. Uh, you know, I want to I want to do nothing. It's hot. I was upstairs, you know, drinking a beer, watching a uh, show with my wife. And I'm just like, I got to go film. <laughs> so I think you guys get it. But anyway, um, first taste. 1920 Prohibition style Old Forester. Fantastic. I have no hesitance in saying that you should go pick up a bottle of this. It's about 55 bucks where I, I purchased it. And for an Old Forester, that's at least for most of them, that's on the higher end. Worth it. Totally worth it. Um, rare that a bourbon. Well, not rare. It is rare that I recommend a bourbon at $55 um, as being absolutely worth it without doing my formal review. This is this is one that is. So anyway, thank you guys for joining me here. And uh, I look forward to talking to you on the next first taste. Like I said, probably next week, I'll do the, the Woodford Reserve. So cheers.